Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got Delete Laws, otherwise known as Chilito. Without further ado, let's get on with this freaking show because I know all of you absolutely love this idiot. So listen, so yesterday I was kind of um, talking out loud yesterday um, in front of a different building that I was at. And, and I talked about Techline versus Danforth. And, uh, you know, there's people who go online and talk about the years that I've done my studying and they say, oh, I went to law school. And so I know, you know, I'm a bar certified lawyer and you put this on your trifold tech line versus Danforth. And let me just tell you something, OK, that is not Supreme Court precedent. That is a Mississippi Supreme Court case. Oh, you are so smug with the poisoning, the well fallacy, trying to make the lawyers look bad. Those people who actually went to law school took years out of their life so they could have a career. Well, so, you know, the thing is, is that I, I didn't understand the culture of, of the way uh, <laughs> social media is. And so I never defended myself with my trifold because let me tell you something if you are pulled over on the side of the road and you see your brother your cousin your lover your best friend and they have the cops behind them and they're pulled over whether that be on the freeway or on a back road you can pull to the side and film that cop now the video coming out in what time is it how much how much time we got what's going on philly bc transparency so so, Greg, what's going on? Yeah, you guys go by and get a trifold. And when you see the the validity, because uh, listen, I did a full breakdown. Just so you guys know, it took 12 hours straight. A little longer, actually. I spent 12 hours straight OCD like a mug yesterday doing a 10-minute video on Tech Line versus, it's called Tesh Lines, actually. Tesh Lines versus Danforth. But I read that corp ruling after he mentioned it on here. I don't think it supports his argument one freaking bit because mostly all it has to do with it was the width of the roads in Mississippi in the 1940s and how it was difficult for anybody to stop for long periods of time, especially a bus. Then I went to several lawyer reviews and it was pretty much the same thing that I came up with. Um, every single one of you dunce cap lawyers who did a review on Tesh Lines versus Danforth and said, I can't believe he put this in here. This is a Mississippi Supreme Court case. You're, go you're about to look really stupid because the people are gonna see, because, so, so let me just explain to you guys what lawyers do who are just the laziest, lowest class, lowest form of human in our, in our entire world. Only, only you have, okay, so at the very, very bottom, you're gonna have strip club managers. <laughs> strip club managers are the very lowest totem pole of human being lower than a cop some cops are are decent no strip club manager is a good person they want to charge you to walk to the table they want to charge you for drinks that they didn't pour they want you to tip them for doing nothing they rip off the chicks <laughs> strip club manager is the lowest form of human being i mean just a really bad human being but then above that you have a cop cop strip club manager and then you have um, judges and lawyers. And so you say, why are lawyers such trash? How come people say, oh, I'm gonna hire a lawyer? And I'm like, okay, it, you, you go hire your lawyer and I'm gonna, I'm gonna work with pro se litigants and I'm gonna do my own paperwork and I'm gonna work with people who study like I do. So let, let, me, let me try to stay focused. What's going on? A little longer than a few minutes later. Let's take a look at the history, the culture, the reason why Terry versus Ohio happened. Let's do that. And so that's what I did with Tesh Lines versus Danforth. I said, well, who was the judge that wrote Tesh Lines versus Danforth? And, you know, by the way, you're just a Mississippi Supreme Court justice. That's all you are, right? All you people out there throwing peanuts from the peanut gallery who say, I have a law degree. Uh, meanwhile, 
uh, Virgil Griffith was a Mississippi Supreme Court justice who wrote books on the law, that his books were used as the standard for law. His, if you, if you quoted his name, I'm, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna ruin the video for you. You can quote Virgil Griffith's name. Let me just put it to you like that. In the courtroom, when you're, in, when you're going through the process of law, right? The guy who wrote the holding for Teschlines versus Danforth, if you invoke his name, the court shudders because he was an absolute and total game changer. His name was Virgil Griffith. He died in 1954. You're gonna get a whole backlog of Virgil in about 10 minutes here. So which were the, which were the attorneys who said you couldn't use Teschline to stop behind a cop to get out and film him? Which were the attorneys who were the- I am going to stop it right here. I can't stand to hear any of his stupid straw man arguments, considering that that case has nothing to do with filming the cops. It has everything to do with the width of the roads in the Mississippi area in the 1940s and the issue of being able to stop when necessary. I will put a link in the description to the case and to a video that spells that point out very clear. My closing statement as far as you, Chile or Chilito, is that you are a moron.